Hi guys, welcome back to the course. So in this lesson, we're going to be deploying our application on Heroku. Heroku is a hosting platform that basically allows us to easily and freely host our Node.js application. They offer obviously pay plans and stuff like that. The uh, disadvantage of the free plan on Heroku is that your application will fall asleep within uh, 30 minutes of inactivity. But that's the only downside. There are obviously paid plans to prevent that. Um, but for our use during this course, this is the perfect way for you guys to learn how to deploy. Um, and if you ever were doing a proper application that you didn't want to kind of fall asleep and stuff like that, you could always, you, you then know how to deploy to Heroku and you could pay for a tier where you wouldn't need it to sleep. But for now, what we're going to do in this tutorial or in this lesson, we're going to create a new project on Heroku. We're going to update our backend for deployment and then we're going to push the application um, to Heroku. In fact, we're going to start with the um, backend updates first. So I'm going to move over to the code. I've already closed off the um, client um, files that I already had open at the moment. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump to server.js. Inside server.js, we basically need to make a few cha uh, changes to basically allow for static files to be served up um, when our application is built. So we're going to first um, import path. We're going to do const path equals require path. This isn't a module we have to install. It should be there by default. Underneath our roots here, we're going to make use of um, some more middleware. We're going to use some more middleware. We're going to use app.use, express.static. Then inside round brackets, we're going to do path.resolve. And then we're going to do inside of here, underscore, underscore, dir name, directory name. And then a comma, inside quotes, dot slash client slash build. Essentially what we're doing here is, is we're pointing um, express to the static build files um, when we are when we build out our application for deployment. We're then going to make an app.get root. It's going to have a star inside the quotes. We're then going to do our normal request response arrow function. And inside there we're going to do res dot send file. Open up some round brackets path dot resolve underscore underscore dir name then a comma with dot slash client slash build again and then comma in then in quotes again index dot html so that's all the changes we need to make to the um to the server dot js file we then need to make some changes to our scripts in package dot json so what we're going to do here um, is we're going to add in some additional scripts that Heroku Heroku is going to use to be able to build out our application. So we're going to make a new script called install dash client. Inside quotes, that's going to be cd client and and npm install. That's going to allow Heroku to go into the client folder and install the required packages from npm. We're then going to make a build script. And that build script is going to cd into the client. So that's going to go into the client folder and run npm run build. So cd client and and npm run build. And then we're going to make a script called Heroku dash post build. This is the script that Heroku will run. And that script's going to run both of the scripts we've just created above. So npm run install dash client and and npm run build. And then we're going to create a final script to start our application, which is simply a start script. And it's going to be node server.js. So the important thing now is that we get, what we're going to do is we're going to connect Heroku to our GitHub repository. Um, so what we need to do is we need to make sure we've got all of our files up to date and pushed to GitHub. So git add, and then git commit minus m. Ready for deployment is going to be my commit message. I'm going to do git push origin main. Okay, so I believe that's all of the uh, changes we need there um, to allow for um, us to build to Heroku. So what I'm going to now do is switch to my browser. And inside here, I'm logged into Heroku. You guys can create a new um, a new Heroku account if you don't already have one at heroku.com. Um, it's easy to sign up um, and very straightforward. Once you're logged in, we're going to go to the we're on the dashboard. We're going to go to new and create new app. You can call your app whatever you want. I'm going to call it MTD slash to do. I'm going to set my region to Europe and I'm going to create the application. 
inside of settings, uh, before we even kind of look at connecting our GitHub repo, we need to set our config variables, our, um, which are in our .env file. We haven't pushed those up to GitHub, so there's no way of Heroku knowing those um, config variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open, I'm going to kind of minimize this. I'm going to go to .env. I'm going to open up our .env file. And then I'm going to copy. So the first one we want is the Mongo URI. We do not want to provide the port um, environment variable. Heroku will deal with that and they will set their own port. So the Mongo URI, I'm going to copy the database string here. Copy that, paste that here, click add. And then the last one we need is our JWT secret. Copy and paste those in and add those in. So those are both added. Now that we've added these, I can now connect our GitHub repo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I'm just going to check that I um, pushed my commit quickly uh, on the thing. I believe I did. Yep, I did push. Okay. So I'm going to go to the deploy tab. I'm going to go to this GitHub connect, uh, connect to GitHub button here. I've already connected my GitHub account to Heroku. You guys need to do that too. If you want to use this method, you can use the Heroku CLI. I've used it plenty of times before. It's very good. Um, but for this tutorial, we're going to use the connect to GitHub functionality. You need to connect your GitHub account, very easy to do, um, and then provide your repo. So mine's the React full stack tutorial repo here. I'm going to connect to that. See it's connected, all connected properly there. And there's a few options here. You can enable automatic deploys. What that'll do is um, every time you push to the main branch, it will automatically deploy for you. That's a good option. Um, I would probably set that up on a normal application, but for now, I'm just going to do the manual deploy at the bottom here. So I'm going to click deploy branch. Heroku's then going to start its build process. It's going to grab all the files. Um, and it's it takes quite a while, maybe two or three minutes to do this. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to um, come back to you guys once this build process has finished. So my build process has just finished. Yeah, it went through the build process, then said your app was successfully deployed. I'm going to click the view button. And as you can see, our application is now fully deployed. I'm already logged in because I've built this out before um, with uh, whilst I was recording previously, but I'm now re-recording this episode. So ignore the fact that I was logged in there. I'm going to go to test at test.com, which is the test account. We're going to see an insecure password pop up. That's fine because we know that our password is only one, two, three, four, five, six, not very secure. I'm going to log in, and as you can see, we have to be talking to the database, seeing as um, it's pulling in all of the um, data from our database. Um, the, good, the, the one thing to note there is that when we were creating the database, you remember we allowed um, IP access from anywhere. That's important with Heroku, seeing as they use a wide range of um, a wide range of IP addresses. If you didn't do that, or maybe your app can't talk to the um, database for any reason, go back onto um, MongoDB Atlas and check that you allowed um, IP access from anywhere. Um, but we have nothing wrong here. We can set and interact with all of our to-dos. I've just deleted one. I'm going to walk the dog, put that one there. I can log out. I can refresh and everything's working fine. I can log into my other account, matt at the dev.com. Secure password of one, two, three, four, five, six again. Log in, all working perfectly. So this is a different to-dos and we can interact with them as you'd expect. So that brings the whole course to an end, really. That's um, deployment covered. You guys can now deploy any application you build. You've got the basis um, of understanding how APIs work, how to create your own APIs, how to store your own data on MongoDB Atlas. Um, and that pretty much concludes, yeah, so that fully concludes the course. Um, you guys can let me know if you have any problems with the course. Um, I got a Discord server. I'll put the link in the description for that. Um, that's going to be a brand new Discord server, um, and I'm going to answer any questions that people might have on or where they need help um, on any courses. I'd also love to hear what courses you want to see next. Um, I've got a um, Vue.js full stack course um, in the plans, um, but if you guys want to see any specific courses, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll have a think about it. So thanks again for doing this course. Um, feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed the course, and I will catch you in some future videos.